We will use a table to help organise our working. Start with the equation for the reaction. We need this so we can see the mole ratios. We know that one mole of carbon-carbon double bonds reacts with one mole of hydrogen chloride to give one mole of chloroalkane in this case. Now we make a note of the initial moles of alkene and of hydrogen chloride. The initial moles of the chloroalkane will be zero. Sometimes we may be given moles of one substance at equilibrium, but here we've been given a concentration, so we'll need to work it out. Concentration of the alkene equals 0 0.270, and the volume of the solution is 500 centimetres cubed, not 5,000 as I seem to have written here, which is 0.5 dm cubed, so the moles of alkene at equilibrium is 0.135. Now we work out how many moles of alkene have reacted by subtraction. Then, using the mole ratio, we can work out how many moles of the other reactants have been used and how many moles of product have been created at equilibrium. It's 1 to 1 to 1 ratio in this case, but not always. Given the changes in the number of moles, we can work out how many moles of the other reactants and products are present at equilibrium. In this case, 0.179 moles of the chloroalkane have been produced, which is what we were asked to show. The equilibrium constant Kc is given in this case by concentration of chloroalkane divided by concentrations of alkene and hydrogen chloride at equilibrium. Note that these are concentrations, not numbers of moles, so we'll need to convert our moles to equilibrium concentrations, noting that the volume is 0.5 dm cubed. Now we can work out a value for Kc, which comes out at 2.07 to three significant figures. The units of Kc are the units of concentration divided by the units of concentration squared, so moles to the minus one dm cubed.